and welcome to Ask the Source. I'm your host, Josh Reinstein, and we're here once again in a beautiful day in Jerusalem on our rooftop studio. My guest today is Jeffrey Rosen, owner of McCovey Haifa basketball team. Jeffrey, thank you for being on the show. Hi, Josh. Thank you for having us. Tell us about what is the McCovey Haifa basketball team? Well, it's a professional basketball team uh, located in Haifa, third largest city in Israel. Uh, this is our seventh season, so I've been seven years in, in the basketball or professional basketball business. Uh, it's, it's a journey that started seven years ago that uh, has been an exciting voyage uh, leading to playoffs and championship play and quite an exciting run all here in Israel. Jeffrey, you're a, a businessman, a philanthropist, but you're from America. How did you get to the point where you own an Israeli basketball team? I started off in a family business called Rose Art Industries. I worked many years with my family in the States building a nice company. And one day we got the inspiration to sell our firm. And after we made the sale, it was, well, you know, you're still a young guy. What are we going to do next? And I always had this feeling of giving back, of, of uh, in my case, Zionism as a, as a Jew. What can I do in Israel, the Holy Land? And, and I had this feeling to come here at this point in my life and, and do something. And I was able, with the sale of the firm, to bring my Zionism and, and do something that would be fun and interesting and yet commercial to the land and, and I was able to tie my love of sports and passion for sports here in Israel and it, it evolved first with a baseball venture, a one year deal where we, we ran professional baseball which was quite interesting and exciting. It didn't really have the, the legs to stay but I got the feeling of sports in Israel and the next year we came to look for a basketball team and it kind of led ultimately to our journey to Haifa and buying a team. Well, one of the things that you brought with you to Israel is success. You took a team that was the worst team in the league and you got them a championship. H how were you able to, to, to do such an, uh, an amazing feat? Well, um, I, a little bit of luck and a little bit of support from above. Um, you know, we started this out in a second division team, which would be like baseball AAA in the States. And in, in, in Europe and in Israel, if you do well and you finish in first, in the second division you jump to first division. They call it an Aliyah jump. So we went in our first year, which was seven years ago, from second to first. That was our first little miracle. Then the next year, our first year as rookies in the Premier League, and Haifa hadn't had a pro team in maybe four or five years, uh, we went all the way to the championship. It was like a red magic carpet ride. And we got to the championship game. We played a good game, but we lost. But in two years, we jumped from first division, brought basketball back to Haifa, and went all the way to the championship just to fall short. So we climbed the mountain, but we didn't get to the mountaintop. Then the next year, we had a good season. And then, as you said, we kind of went to the bottom. We had two years where we kind of sank down. We built a new arena, and while that arena was under construction, we were playing in a neighboring city called Nesher. And we were there for two years, and we floundered. We just weren't very good. But when they finished the new arena, the Romema Arena, uh, we knew we had to reinvest in the team. We had to make changes. We brought an American coach that year. We changed all the guys. We got excitement from the community, but we were untested. We were the last place team. And then last year, that team got on a good run. We knew we had good guys. They got better and better. They were the second place team. And when playoffs came, we did something that had never been done. We managed to play Tel Aviv and win the first ever championship in the history of Maccabi after 60 years. And it was quite a celebration in Haifa. We were very, very proud of it. Well, people not just in Haifa are excited about this. I understand that in America, you actually have a documentary TV series showing how you came from America and took this team to the championships. Yes, it, five years ago, thanks, we, we started a television show. It runs in uh, some of the major cities. I think we're in the Miami, New York, Chicago, Philly, Dallas, and maybe uh, LA markets. Um, it's been running for five years. We have over a million viewers uh, per, per year, uh, Nielsen rated. And it's the story of the American kids coming over to a foreign country, in this case, Israel, the land of Israel, and playing basketball, in this case, Haifa, the city of Haifa, 
um, and their experiences, being abroad, experiencing life, experiencing basketball. So it's, it's a voyage that I think the American audience can appreciate. It's foreign basketball, it's not NBA or college. Um, and it's playing ball in a land where you've got, you know, the wall, you've got the land where Jesus is, you have the Dead Sea, you have Masada, you have uh, Caesarea. I mean, there's so many amazing places to see here and, and our, our show shows our guys traveling, learning, experience, going to Galilee, stepping into to the lake themselves, um, you know, walking through Jerusalem, walking through the markets, going to the churches. It's, um, it's quite exciting to see the guys and how it's more than basketball to play basketball for Maccabi Haifa. Well, Jeffrey, there are literally tens of millions of people watching this show. What message do you have for our viewing audience? Come come here, experience this amazing country, the dynamism of new and old, you know, great advances in technology, yet the land of, of spirit, the land of, of the Jewish people, the Christian people, all faiths, Muslim people. Um, Israel is a place where it's happening and all of us must have a chance if we're granted to come and visit. Step on Eretz Israel, step here no matter what your faith is. You'll be, you'll be, you know, the spirit touches you the minute you come. It touched me. Thank you, Jeffrey, for being on the show. And thank you for tuning in to Ask the Source. I'm your host, Josh Reinstein. Now back to the studio.